channel it is me mystic beauty and i'm here to do another general energy reading what is up all of you guys what's up gang gang so all of my a1 day ones who have been following your girl since the beginning okay since the beginning i want to say that i absolutely love and I absolutely appreciate you guys even my new love bugs who just subscribed to my channel I want to, I love y'all. I love you guys too. Okay. There would definitely be no mystic beauty without you guys. And I want you to remember that. Okay. You, you, you are a part of me. So, um, let's go ahead and clear out any negative energy. And I want to take this opportunity to send you guys positive energy. Right. Right. And I want to take this opportunity to send any negative energy back to anyone who may be trying to send me negative energy. I send that right back to you. Right. All right, so <clears throat> I want to go ahead and mention our Honey Pot Raffle to all of our new love bugs. We have something on our channel called Mystic Bees Honey Pot Raffle. It is our blessing pot, you guys. Um, we hold a computer-generated raffle weekly. The tickets are $1.11, and the winner receives the cash pot. So... If any of you guys are interested in participating, you can find the link in the description box below, along with the link to our self-love club, my Etsy shop, or anything that we have going on, okay? Also, you guys, look, I've been juicing. I've been juicing, okay? I've been squeezing my own juices, and it is so good, and I'm really thinking about um going on a little fast like a 40 48 hour fast you know just detoxing my temple you know i, I want to make sure that god always dwells in a clean temple so i've just been kind of doing a reset on my body my health my mind my energy and things of that nature so i'm thinking about um opening it up for you guys who want to participate with me um, on a 48-hour juice fast. So you guys will know about that because I'll post a flyer about it and everything. And after the 48 hours, we will do like a Zoom meeting and we'll talk about our experience with it and everything. And we'll just go from there. Just kind of want to share this experience and then we'll kind of go from 48 hours to... 72 hours and you know just kind of baby step our way because i've never um i've never fasted before so all right also you guys i'm also in the process of restocking my ritual products right now i have my manifestation candles they're done and i'll be posting those today and my money candles i'll be posting those today as well okay i have my um uh, my jinx removing all i'll be posting those today and my uh, right now i'm gonna call it my peace oil it's peace oil but i made this particular oil near and dear to my heart because it neutralizes gossip okay it neutralizes gossip so if you know you have people gossiping about you they can't seem to um, keep your name out of their mouth. You have people lying about you. This all neutralizes the situation. Okay, so I'll be posting that today as well. All right. <clears throat> all right, Spirit, go ahead and give me the overall energy for my love bugs. Thank you. Rebirth. So you guys are going through a rebirth at this time. I feel like you, you've you recently came out of a dark space. Look at this. You see how she's coming out of this dark space, you guys? So I feel like a lot of things were hidden from you guys during this time. Um, there's This is like a full eclipse as well. Like this moon is covered. Um, so this lets me know that you, you possibly just came out of your dark night of dark night of the soul okay dark night of the soul type of energy 
So you've went through a massive transformation at this time. Spirit is saying that you've made it out. You made it out alive. Okay, so what are you going to do with this information? What are you going to do with this knowledge that you've learned um, along the way on this journey when you were going through this very dark time of your life? What are you going to do with this knowledge? You know, a lot of times, a lot of things are illuminated to us during a time of darkness. So it's like when you're at the, the darkest time in your life, that's when God can kind of talk to you the most, right? When you can see clearly, you can see clearly in the darkness. That's the thing. If you are in darkness for that moment, you can see clearly. You can see everybody else, but they can't see you because you're, you may be in a dark place in your life right now. So it's kind of like during this time of darkness, people's true intentions were shown to you guys. You can see, you saw everything clearly. You saw who was truly your friends, um, what friends you need to get rid of, what lovers you may need to get rid of, any secrets people was keeping from you. You guys, you saw that clearly. You saw that for what it was during this time of darkness, you know? All right. So let's go ahead and jump into the reading <clears throat> and see what messages spirit has for you guys today and i want to say thank you for every to everybody who wished my son cat daddy a happy birthday he told me to tell you guys thank you and he's still partying this baby been partying for three days okay <laughs> so i told him i said you gonna wear your mommy out Ooh. high priestess and i'm gonna leave those down there so okay psychic intuitive seeing things clearly even in darkness even in the darkness so i feel like there's some things that you know some not some knowledge that you know people can't play with you you know i feel like you guys could have been dealing with a lot of people who tried to hide things from you it's not working with you coming out as the high priestess it's not it's just it's not going to work yeah, the, you, you guys have people around you who want to confuse you, keep you confused, keep you in illusions, lying to you, not being truthful, not being honest with you, you know, not communicating their truth with you. But I feel like you already know what the truth is. No one can hide anything from you with this high priestess energy. Though you, it's like people try to play with your intelligence. It's not going to work when you're dealing with somebody who prays who consults with spirit about everything there's like what can you hide from a person who is disconnected with source who's disconnected with god who's who's disconnected with themselves what can you hide nothing i feel like you guys see things in the spirit so you know what a person really want to say that they're not saying you know what they've done that they've they're hiding from you true high priestess energy you know Okay. Give me another message for the collective Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Who is this energy that's lying? That tried to lie to them? Who is this energy that was pulling the wool over their face? I feel like you guys, this is somebody who you saw in high honor at one point. Like, this is somebody who you saw as the one. You you saw this person, like, you put them up, you put this person on a pedestal. This is who this is. This is someone who you put on a pedestal, okay? You, you felt like, um, I just heard you could have had it all, or you could have had forever with this person. This could be a fire sign energy as well, possible air sign for some of you guys. This could be someone who works for themselves or a boss type figure. This is someone who is just now having some clarity about who you are. Yeah, this person see who you are now and they're not getting rest. This is somebody who's currently suffering in silence over how they treated you. Okay. This is somebody who you had a very, very magnetic connection with this person. Very strong, very magnetic. You guys were very much drawn to each other. I 
this person's they're experiencing a lot of sleepless nights okay they're very much overwhelmed with this new information that spirit has given them as to who you are to them they're very overwhelmed whatever download this person received is causing them to lose sleep they're they're being tormented tell me more spirit i feel like this is the person that lied to you this is the person that lied to you guys okay you have the star card aquarius energy is here as well this was someone who um, you viewed as wish fulfillment, you know? I feel like this person could view you in this star-like energy, like you have star-like quality. You take very good care of yourself. Very beautiful inside and out. This person feel like you are extremely attractive. Something about your, not just your, your, your outer appearance, but also your inner appearance, you know, just your light, your soul, that light that radiates around you. Like this person really admires this about you, but they did lie to you. They were very dishonest with you for a very long time, but I feel like you guys knew this. This is the information that you was keeping to yourself, 1111 on the timer when I said that. So this is the information that you was, you were keeping to yourself. <clears throat> I feel like during this time of separation, you guys have achieved a lot of things, okay? You've really been working hard. Try not to focus on what happened with this person. Try not to focus on the fact that you know that they're keeping things from you still. Just really working on your goals, you know, things that are important to you. Tell me more about this Nine of, um, nine of Swords energy spirit. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords energy wow this person was very selfish and it's like this person is now realizing how selfish they were this was very one-sided okay they didn't this was you would give to them they would take they wouldn't give you anything this is somebody who didn't give you anything they didn't give you anything to work on they didn't give you nothing they didn't it's like they went out of their way to make you make you question their loyalty like how they really feel about you and it's like something about this clarity. Eight of Swords in reverse talks about open to a new perspective. No longer being trapped to their mental. So this person is seeing things clearly. It's like they know who you are. They see who you are. They see what they did wrong. <sighs> Separation. Yeah. This talks about abandoning a person, a situation, a connection, you know, so whatever this lie was that you you either found out physically or you found out spiritually because, mind you, you are the high priestess. It caused a separation between you guys. You guys could have mentioned to this person what spirit was showing you or what you saw in the, in the spirit realm. And this person could have abandoned you because they were afraid of what else you know. Yeah. And I just feel like this caused both you guys to go within. You know, this person had you questioning yourself, even though you knew what spirit was showing you was accurate. The way that they reacted kind of had you questioning yourself. This person went within as well because out of, I feel like it was out of guilt, out of embarrassment. I feel like this person is embarrassed. Why is this person embarrassed, spirit? Tell me why is this person embarrassed? Three swords energy in reverse. Because I feel like, you know, they took the easy way out and they cannot stop dwelling on the hard work that they caused you. They cannot stop dwelling on the past, whatever happened in the past between you guys that was left open. I'm hearing like unfinished business. Why else is this person embarrassed, spirit? Ten of Pentacles. This person is embarrassed because of your come up. They're embarrassed because you guys are in the Ten of Pentacles energy, wealth, happiness, and achievements. You know, you're working on your family. You have inheritance coming your way. Some of you guys may, may be buying a house where this person may not have a legit place to stay right now due to karma. You know, this talks about just being established. You know, I feel like you guys are in this Ten of Pentacles energy. If it, even if it's not financially, you are in a very abundant space in your life right now. Sometimes we could just be abundant in God. We are in abundant with love. You have an abundance of happiness and love around you at this time, an abundance of peace. And this person, this makes them want to come rushing into you. 
Because it's like they can feel you moving forward. They can feel you being at peace with everything. It's like you're finally getting peace in your life right now. And they can feel it. Yeah. I feel like this person, their immature energy, their immature behavior... I feel like all of that got shown to them. It's like the universe sent all of this energy back to them. I feel like they tried to project their insecurities onto you, having you rethinking yourself, trying to energetically delay you on your journey, you know, delaying your purpose, who you are, what are you supposed to be doing with yourself right now? When this person rejected you, it made you, it just kind of slowed you down. You were in the energy of totally reevaluating yourself in your life. You know, but I feel like spirit took this opportunity to kind of talk with you, collab with you, get you back on track, kind of making you remember who you are. This person is there. They're still coming out as immature and this person is still lacking confidence. So even though this person is coming towards you, I see them coming in towards you. I just feel like they're going to do it in a very immature way, you know. about poor timing as well because I do see you guys in an in an overflow of abundance right now in your life like I said whether this is in your career your peace of mind right now happiness family and this person it's like them rushing in wanting to disturb your peace for some of you guys are you feeling like they're trying they're going to try to disturb your peace look at this timing has been important I want to be with you but but it's just bad time and perhaps we're just two star-crossed lovers. And look, and I just said, poor timing. Okay, so this person may feel like the timing is bad. So I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. It's like you're in a space of healing. You've healed, you've grown, you've accepted things for where they are. And this person is like... Maybe they have a lot going on in their life right now and they're feeling like that the timing would be bad, but I see them still doing this, making this reckless move to come towards you. I'm going to continue to play mind games. I can't make you think that you have me completely. So the reason why this person play these games with you is because they're embarrassed that they feel this way about you in the first place. This is somebody who is full of ego, I see. You have to make a you have to make a choice. Choose who you want to make you happy. I need an answer from you. So for some of you guys, this person feel like you are entertaining someone else right now. And it's like they want you to make a choice. They want you to, they really want you to choose them. It's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. Yeah, this person feel like you are getting your ten of pentacles. Like you're getting, fulfilled. somebody else is taking care of you. They feel like somebody else is filling their shoes, okay? And this is another reason why they are keeping their distance from you. I'm willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you, say something to me. And I said I saw this person communicating with you in, a, in an immature manner. Hmm. I don't want to change anything to make this relationship work. So this is someone who has been stuck in their ways. I, I We just picked up on immaturity, being immature. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Exhausted. This this whole situation has exhausted you guys. Okay, there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they can approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. So this person knows that they have baggage. You know that this person has baggage. Spirit wants you guys to focus on your ten of pentacles. Focus on your stability at this time. You know, saving money, starting your business. Putting this effort and energy into yourself, your home life, your kids, dark night, they're experiencing, they're experiencing a massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. And we just got done talking about the dark night of the soul. So you're, you're out of your dark night of the soul and this person is currently experiencing a dark night of the soul right now as we speak, you know, and being in this very, very dark space sometimes it's not a good idea to be around a person that's experiencing this type of energy because they will project how they feel onto you. And spirit wants to protect you from that. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected, 
you change their whole world forever feeling lost as they lose their old identity so this person they're losing parts about themselves old parts about themselves that no longer serve them and i feel like this is spirit's way of pretty much molding this person to be in your energy this person the way that they behaved in the past that caused this separation this person was not suited this was not suitable energy to be in your energy someone like you this never would have worked okay they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing to focus on and choosing and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give they feel like they don't have anything to offer you so this is why they're they're choosing to focus on their own personal journey and this dark night of the soul and healing their karma and their trauma because they feel like they don't have anything to offer you. You're already the Ten of Pentacles energy. So it's just kind of like you have really worked hard and built yourself up on by yourself. On whatever this person gave you, whatever life gave you. And I feel like that wasn't much. You guys really had to work hard on your own. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps without the support of your family. Without the support of your friends. You know, without the support of this lover. So right now, they just feel like empty, like they don't have anything to offer you. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know that they would have to do right by you. So that's another thing. Like this person know that in order to be in your energy, they would have to do right by you in order to communicate with you every day, to truly, truly be in the presence of a chosen one, a child of God, a light worker, an empath. You know, you who have done all this work, not saying that you're perfect, but I'm saying that you have surpassed this person energetically to the point where they absolutely feel like they don't have anything to offer you. And what little do they have, they feel like you're not going to accept that because of the amount of work that you have done on yourself, you know? And they feel like someone else is offering to you. And this person is bothered by this. Black Widow, betrayal, warning, twisted, torn cat, cunning, danger, toxic situation or relationship, web of control, entrapment, unexpected attack, insidious, poisonous, and low vibration. So this person may have been the black a black widow in your life. Very toxic. Okay, insidious energy, dark energy in your life at one point. This person could have betrayed you without warning. You know, twisted turn of events. You never saw this coming. You never saw this coming. And I feel like this was because of this person's inability to heal. Heal their own trauma, their own wounds, you know. Let me pull from... What is this energy? Because I want to pull from the Haters Exposed deck to see what is this Black Widow energy? What else can we pull from this Black Widow energy? This is a very low vibrational energy. This person may want to try to entrap you. I'm hearing with a baby for some of you guys. I don't know who that's for. It says following you on fake accounts. So this person could be also following you on fake accounts while they're in this dark night of the soul. In this dark place, they're following you on fake accounts. Tell me more about this Black Widow spirit. Someone is doing white magic on you to help protect you. So spirit saying, don't worry. Whoever this Dark Widow energy is, whether it's this lover or somebody else you don't know, someone is doing white magic on you to protect you. So someone that loves you is praying for you, speaking positive energy over your life. You could be doing white magic on yourself, protecting yourself at this time. You know, so Spirit is saying they don't even want me to dig deeper into this because they're saying that you, you have absolutely nothing to worry about with this situation. So let me pull some final messages from this person. I just heard return back to senders. So make sure that you guys are doing your return back to senders as well. Give me more spirit. Give me some final messages from this person. Holy spirit. Yeah. Hard to read and overthinking. This person overthinks everything. Okay. In and out, in and out. They confuse you. They give you mixed signals. But this person is, is driving themselves crazy thinking about you. 
and this person is self-pleasuring themselves to you as well. So thoughts of you, photos, videos, whatever they have. Sending you sexual energy. I need to see if there's been, but this person thought that there were, that the grass was greener on the other side. They wanted to explore their options. So I feel like you guys had to allow them to, you had to let them go. If you feel like there's better out there for you, then go ahead. And that's what you did, you know? And I feel like this person's always on the verge of communicating with you because they don't want to lose you, but they know that they cannot completely be all in with you until they've healed this dark side of themselves. Because until then, they will always be a black widow in your life. They will always be poisonous to you. They will always try to control you in a web of lies and then entrap you. And they will always be low vibrational. And they will always send you negative energy. And this person don't want to be like that towards you because they know that you deserve more. Okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. Make sure that you thumbs up the video and subscribe if you have not already done so. Hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. Peace.